Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newkibio.com. Newkibio.com, that's our website. I'll take you to our website. Here's our website, newkibio.com. And uh, so this is like an educational instructional blog. And you can also buy QuickBooks or uh, if you need to test drive, you can test drive uh, uh, demo file. And uh, you can also buy uh, uh, desktop too. So you can subscribe any QuickBooks online products and, subs and buy desktop. And we also have another blog. This is for uh, uh, desktop only, Pro and Premiere. So you can check it out. Okay, so the focus of this video is uh, how to troubleshoot common issues with uh, QuickBooks Windows app. I've been using this product for a long time, this QuickBooks Windows app, since uh, uh, beta testing days. So I'm familiar with this product uh, a bit. So uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the common issue that's uh, uh, you can't even uh, uh, open the file, you know. Uh, it's hard to open. You, you just can't open it. Okay. So the first issue has to do with uh, when you sign in, you, you, you select the stay sign in box in here. And uh, then after a while, you do nothing, just stay there. And so there's a problem with this issue. Uh, so they just recently fixed uh, some box, um, uh, some bug uh, dealing with this stay sign in. Uh, they recently did, uh, this, this is the one I'm logged in. So if you go to in here and you will see what's new in here. So this is the one I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, I prefer not to select the stay sign in box. Uh, uh, that way, you know, just uh, log in and uh, then log out and don't have to uh, uh, deal with that, uh, that issue. So, so I normally don't check this box. The default is, uh, uh, you know, it's when you sign in, the default is already checked in. So I uncheck this and then uh, uh, use my password and then sign in. So it works a lot better for me. But now they fixed uh, uh, some, um, you know, some uh, couple of bugs. Some they they fixed some bug, so hopefully it will work out. But I'm still gonna wait for another couple of new releases. Okay, so so much for that one. Um, so the, the 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 that's the first issue. Okay, so what happens if you can't even open the uh, the program? Okay, so what do you need to do to reset the app? Just hold down. Uh, the shift key, the shift key on the keyboard while opening the program. So the continue to hold down the key until the programs open up. So just uh, hold on the key, uh, shift key, and then uh, you'll see uh, the sign in uh, screen in here. So basically you reset the app and now you can open it, uh, uh, you know, this uh, uh, app uh, from the desktop. Okay, so so those two issues, reset the apps, the shift key, and for some reason that, that won't even work, you know, nothing works. And then if that's the case, then you have to uninstall your uh, uh, app, and then you have to reinstall it again, you know. Uh, to do that, you just go to this website, uh, uh, quickbooks.intuit.com forward slash apps, and... Uh, First, you need to uh, uninstall your existing uh, app and then uh, uh, reinstall this new app again. So that's pretty common. Okay, uh, so hopefully either this, either shift key uh, works and, you know, if it doesn't work, then you have to uh, uninstall and reinstall a new app. Okay, uh, now the next one is uh, uh, you can sign in but uh, somehow you get some uh, uh, some funny screen, you know, like a white screen after you sign in, what to do. So so you need to refresh it, or, or, you know, uh, if that's the case. So let's go to the uh, uh, file menu. I'm just going to go to uh, in here. Okay, so here's the file menu, and then refresh it. Let's just refresh it like this, you know. Uh, 
So that will uh, take care of some of the issues, okay? And if for some reason that d does nothing, still getting the white screen, then I see this refresh this nice. It takes a while now, see? It's refreshing it. So it'll clear all the cookies and stuff. Refresh it. And for some reason that, that that's not enough. And then, then you have to go to this help again. See, here's the reset app data. So that's the one you need to click. Reset app data. So it's reset app data. And uh, then you basically reset everything. And so that will uh, also solve uh, um, some, um, some problems. Okay, so basically uh, refresh or or reset app data, those two will take care of uh, uh, some of the common issues. Okay, uh, so basically right here, refresh and reset app data uh, should solve uh, common issues. So those are the troubleshooting issues. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels. On YouTube channels, we have two channels youtube.com forward slash bb controller youtube.com forward slash quickbooks qbo thank you for watching bye